Honey, I'm home. Hi, I'm Sangeeta and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making blueberry muffins with some crumbly streusel topping. These have got to be the softest flavorful muffins you've had in a while. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's get started. Let's start by making cupcake liners, just to make it look fancy. You need a glass whose base fits the diameter of the base of the muffin tin. Make sure to use a glass that widens to the top. Don't use a straight glass, I hope that makes sense. We need a baking paper that has been cut into a square. Fold the square into a half and crease it like so. Now fold the other side as well and crease it. Get that glass and place the center point to the middle of the base. Fold the paper to one side. I'm going clockwise along the crease. You should have four folds in total. Once those four folds are done, it will almost look like a cup, like this. Let's secure the folds by cupping your hand and then bring it all together and push it down to give that liner a shape. Press the bottom and flatten it. That's it, our liner is now ready. Let me show you how to make another one. Crease and hold. Bring it all together. Push and crease. That's it, it's that simple. Let's make the batter now. Start off by pouring 2 teaspoons of lemon juice into half a cup of room temperature milk. You can use buttermilk instead. Keep it aside. In a large mixing bowl, melt 1 fourth cup of salted butter. 
Pour in one fourth cup of vegetable oil into it. This makes sure that the cake doesn't dry out and you'll have a super moist cake. Drop in one cup of sugar and whisk it well. You can use an electric beater if you wish to. Do this for two to three minutes. Now break open an egg and whisk it in. Make sure your egg is at room temperature. Once well combined, break open the second egg. Whisk until creamy. Now drop in 2 cups of all-purpose flour, half of it at once, fold it in gently, add some milk and fold it in. Let's add rest of the flour and fold it in. Pour the rest of the milk in as well. Our batter is now ready. Keep it aside. Now in a bowl, drop in a cup and a half of cleaned and washed blueberries. Pat the blueberries dry after washing. Dust the blueberries in 1 tablespoon of flour. Coat the berries well. You don't want the berries sinking in the bottom so do not skip this step. Now add 1.5 teaspoon of baking powder into the batter and mix it well. Your batter should be this thick. Do not make a runny batter. Let's drop in those blueberries into the batter and fold it in real well. Add a teaspoon of vanilla essence and mix it well. Fill in the liners with the batter. Overfill the muffin liners, only then will you get a muffin top. This recipe will help you make about 6 medium sized cupcake. Now let's make the streusel. I have over here 1 fourth cup of flour. Add 40 grams of salted cold butter that has been roughly chopped into chunks. Drop in 1 fourth cup of powdered sugar or fine granulated sugar if you want a crunchy top. I prefer powdered sugar though. Get your hands dirty. Rub the batter along with the sugar and flour until you get a sand-like texture. Use the tips of your fingers to do so. This is how it should look. You should be able to bring it in together, yet it should fall apart. Now let's arrange a few berries on top of the cupcake. Don't skip this step. When the berries heat up and burst, they leave a beautiful color on the top. Now go ahead and drop the streusel crumble on the top. Try not to cover the blueberry. Put the crumble around it. Let's bake these at 150 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes.
At around 20 minutes, my cupcakes look pretty much done. I'm going to give it another 5 minutes and then take it off. Keep an eye on these muffins. You do not want to overbake these for too long. Our muffins are ready. It smells so good in here and look at how well it has domed. Take it out of the oven and cool it for a while. Consume while it's still warm. It's going to taste delicious. You can store these outside for about two days. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Until next time.